a baby's waking up. Well, I was trying to film this intro real quick and my newborn woke up and then my toddler's making noise. I think she's about to wake up too. So we will try to make this quick. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today's video is a vlog from a trip that we took to celebrate one of my good friend Faustina's graduating with her master's degree. We went to Fredericksburg, Texas for a week. I think it was Monday through Saturday, so technically a little under a week, but whatever. We did lots of shopping, eating out, we went hiking at Enchanted Rock, and we went to a flea market. And so that's what this video, I didn't really talk to the camera a whole lot, I just kind of vlogged each day. So I will uh, insert that footage now. Huh? Road trip lunch. Now I'm feeding her so she doesn't get messy. <laughs> did she go potty? She did. Good job. Pee pee and poo poo. Yay. Huh? There you are. Congratulations! Thank you! <laughs> are you wearing your shirt? Look at that. Nice. <laughs> your new cup? Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. We'll have to ask daddy. Maybe he left it. She goes, this is my room, that's my Simba, and my pack pack. <laughs> I brought some Cheerios. Oh, good. In case somebody needed a bottle. <laughs> I, I just love that window. It's pretty. Yeah. Zach's already found the games. Oh. <laughs> and Isaiah has found the outdoors. Can you get it? Pull it, push it down. There you go. And push. Now watch your step. Look at those manners. Shut the door behind her and everything. Some balls. Some balls. Babe, she has such good manners. She shut the door behind her and everything. Trying to kiss him on the lips, Amara. <laughs> no, I'm not daddy. You can't do that. No, no, we don't even do that. Okay, I got the pack and play set up. My mom brought. Somebody's a little hungry. I'm gonna feed him. Yeah. Is that your chair? No. No spaces. Green bus. Now Dew has found the game. <laughs> I believe so. Well, welcome everyone. So glad we've been all together to celebrate Faustina's graduation. Woo! 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 When she finishes her PhD, we'll do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me through that. Yes. It's your friends. It's your friends. It's your friends. It's your friends. It's your friends.
Just grab it and do my clink. Clink, 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 She loves to kick a ball. Dinner's almost here. They're right there. They They're like right at the door, so. Uh oh. Wee. Did you trip on his big feet? Big feet. You're like, I can't figure out how to cancel it on there. It is the day that we are going on your first real hike. I guess that was a real hike the other day. Your first intensive hike. Why do you talk nonsense when I put the camera on you? We're going to hike a chain of rock. Are you excited? Want to walk? 21. Yeah. Big rock. Yeah, it changes every day. <laughs> oh, big. minutes. Yeah, 17 a miles. A big rock? Right. Yeah. I saw a rock. Big. A hiking rock? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. he's not so excited. He said, <laughs> well, we can get the party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if y'all watch my, I assume that I've already posted it, her first Daddy. hike vlog, Daddy. then you'll know that we've been training oh, for this. And uh, we're here in Fredericksburg. Obviously, you're watching that vlog. You know what's happening. Anyway, we're going to go check Hike and Tanner Rock. You can walk if you'll go. She wanted to go real slow down those stairs. Yeah, don't let her see the water. <laughs> I see a little, centip uh, little centipede in there. I don't see that either. You see it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a caterpillar. Like that's what I meant. Is that it? Is that, is that the enchanted rock? Junior. <laughs> You're not gonna make her walk? There's a caterpillar. She pointed out every single one in our hike last week. <laughs> yeah, we've already done a pretty good climb. Sound just like me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's what they get. That's where you're talking the way up here when I'm driving. I'm always, my eyes are moving. Yes. And I'm always pointing things out. And like, what? Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, he points things out, but the wheel follows his eyes. That's a bunch of wheels. <laughs> <laughs> 
Big step, big step. Look at you, look at you. Big steps. Doing good. Look at me, Mama. I see you. You're behind me. Uh huh. This is a big rock. <laughs> this is a big rock. This is a big rock. Come on. Maybe we can go get closer to them. Yeah, I think that's the real one. Hey, okay, stay sitting. It's safe sitting. Look, I did up here. You did. You gotta bite it real hard. That's my back pocket. Bite? You getting any? She was earlier. This is a very slow. Got some. Look, look up. Hi, Skeena Joe. No, she's got her hat in my water. Look up. Look up. I'm gonna pour some water in there, okay? Look up. Look up. Is that our. Why is the screen not turning on? It is always just very dark. It saw you and broke. Oh, I can't see you through my sunglasses. Yeah. It's like polarized. You can have some in a little bit, okay? Hold on. Take a break. It really puts in into perspective how steep it is when I hold it level.
I want to go find that family from earlier and say, look, she made it to the top. They said, we'll see you in about 30 minutes when you come back down. Well, they said 10. Oh, 10? <laughs> they said 10. I had to defend my baby. No, I'm recording how creepy it looks with y'all standing there. fly away from you and I saw it land there and I was like, oh shoot. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera. Where are they? Who knows if you guys can see it? She was sitting right under a beat nest. You wanna ride a horsey? Is it dirty? <laughs> right, hold on right there. Oh, you're scared? Aww. Are you scared? I guess we should have warned her that it was gonna move. Yeah. Sorry, baby. I'll get, I'll get on. It's a horsey. It's just a horsey. It's okay. You want to ride it? Like Daddy does horsey. Dun, 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 dun. I'll try it. I'll hold you. Is that Kenny's name? No. If it had to do with work on my weight class, I'll jump on that. Are you scared? It's, no, it's not scary. You want me to hold you? It's not scary. Daddy can hold you on there. Poor horsey. Like, nice horsey. You got somewhere to hold on? Nice horsey. It's just like when Daddy does horsey. That was really close. You were about to go fishing for your glasses. I tell you, look. Oh, God. That's a big boy right there. Look, look at him. He's a big boy. Where'd that big boy go? He's right here. Careful, you're about to touch the water. Yin and yang. I wonder if it, the camera's picking it up because it's very dark. An eternal dance. See the big fishy Amara? It's big. Look at the big one. You see the big fishy? It's really big. Do a smaller bite. She said, no. Oh. No, a big bite. Here, take it out first. What'd you think? Want a big bite? 
Don't get a brain freeze. <laughs> oh, that's cold. That's cold. <laughs> Shoots. Um, it's just pretty much the traditional. There's nothing fancy about this. It's you know, hearty. Um, second course is the salad wedge salad. Charles, is that the beer? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a dark water. water. <laughs> It's, it's salad. Do you want a tomato? You ready for your surprise? Uh huh. Nothing. Nothing. That's it. It's a red fox. It's a red fox. You like your fox? Uh, I like my big fox. Can you give me a huggy? Give daddy a huggy. See, thank you, daddy. There ain't nobody here. It's too <laughs> rainy outside. Did he talk back to you? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the rooster? There he is. Yes, the that's rooster. the one that's talking to us. That doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. It didn't feel right either. That was close. So I think that your your looping needs to be more vertical rather than horizontal. It needs to be more like this. It needs to be more up. Yeah, not to the side. It needs to be more horizontal. So that it floats and lands rather than chops. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to get both horns. Hey, that was, that was better yeah. I'll do one more and we'll get out of here. But, but to catch the bull, you gotta get both horns. I know. That's progress, though. Alright. More. 
more. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yep. except for the last day I actually didn't film anything on the last day the last full day we went to a flea market called trade days that they have <laughs> oh, no, don't cry. they have the trade days uh, the third weekend of every month and we just happened to be there that weekend and so it's like this huge street flea market we went on a Friday we were happy that it wasn't crowded because he had just turned two months old and that's like the pediatrician was like, keep him away from crowded areas until he turns two months. <laughs> and so even though he was two months old, we didn't want to go anywhere that was too crowded. So anyway, it had been raining all week and that day it was pretty cloudy and so I think people were scared it was going to rain. So there wasn't really many people there. And we went in the morning on Friday and I think their busy day is like Saturday and Sunday. So it didn't rain the whole time we were there. It was actually really hot by the end of the day. But we were lucky enough to not have to see a lot of people did a lot of shopping but I didn't vlog anything so I wanted to show you guys everything that we bought oh I guess I need to go grab that I'm just gonna do a quick little haul to finish off this video of everything that we bought at trade days but there might be a couple things that I don't have here with me like I got this tooth fairy pillow for my toddler she's not losing any teeth yet she doesn't even have all of her teeth yet but I just thought it was really cute and I got a matching pillow like for her head that has the same little fairy print on it and actually um, we're about to be remodeling her room to give her a big girl bed and make it all cute and stuff because we're going to be staying in this house for a little longer a lot longer than planned stay tuned for that video i have no idea when that's going to come out but you can always just turn on post notifications if you want to know when that's coming out anyway i'm going to base it off the theme of this pillow and then also for my toddler my mom actually bought her these little jeans with super cute lace trim on the bottom they're in a size 3T, which in certain things that are like tighter, she already wears 3T, so these will probably fit her. It's summer right now, so she's not going to wear them right now, but as soon as it gets a little bit cooler in the fall, she can wear those. And my mom at that same shop also got her these little shorts, which she already wore because she had a, she's potty training, and she did really good, but then she did have an accident when we were at trade days, and we had these with us, so she wore them for the rest of the day. But they're from the same place with the lace trim. These are actually size 40, but they fit her now because she's kind of got a ch chunky legs and stuff. <laughs> and then that same lady, she gave me for free these reusable, they're like paper towels, but they're just pieces of fabric. They're really cute. This one has a sloth. This one's just blue. There's little Grogu eucalyptus leaves. Oh, the sloths again. It looks like there's two of each kind. And she gave me just an old paper towel roll because you can like roll those on there and pull them off like that. Eventually I want to make more of these because I think it's a really cool idea. I do, I don't use paper towels. I do use like Norwex cloths but this is probably better for like grease and messy spills because Norwex I don't want to like mess them up because they're expensive. And from that same shop, I thought there was something else from that shop but I can't remember. This bag isn't very organized so anyway. There was another shop that had stickers and it was a really good price. I think it was like two for a dollar or four for a dollar, something like that. It was super, super good price. And I collect stickers, so I picked some out. Xbox game controller. Um, Isaiah, we feel like he looks like Rip, especially when he's wearing his cowboy hat and his black leather jacket in the winter. So I got this. Um, we watched Yellowstone too. Don't make me send Rip. <laughs> I guess it was three for a dollar, because I have three of them. And then the last one is this pair of blue cowgirl boots. I have commitment issues when it comes to stickers so I collect them but I don't put them on anything but I do have this paddle board that's broken so eventually when we have a house we're going to paint it white and hang it on the wall and stick all of my stickers onto it. <laughs> I also got this little rocking chair. It's like technically an ornament but I got it with the intention of putting it inside of Amara's dollhouse that I'm remodeling 
Um, it's like the perfect size for the little fabric dolls that I'm giving her. Those fabric dolls used to be mine actually and I'm waiting to give them to her until she is a little more mature because I don't want her to mess up their hair. <laughs> so I collect mug from places that we travel and this one for this trip I decided to get one from one of the breakfast places that we went to for lunch. It was like a brunch thing and I actually got a I can't I think they called it like a muddy hot chocolate it had or a muddy coffee it had like hot chocolate and coffee mixed together so uh you drank it out of this mug and then I bought one as well it was only I think it was ten dollars which is really good my that's my ideal price when I'm buying mugs sometimes they overprice them a lot because they're like souvenirs and they'll be like 15 20 dollars and I don't like to buy that when it's that expensive these little cord hair ties were a dollar a piece and they work really well for my toddler's curly hair so I went ahead and got two of them so I can use them for her oh yeah the lady who we bought the pants from and also gave me the paper towels she saw me looking at this little plastic roller I was it, I think it's supposed to be for play-doh um, it was in a dollar bin but I didn't have any more cash and I you can't use a card for just a dollar so I didn't buy it but then she gave it to me for free I was thinking my daughter is obsessed with pizza and we've made pizza at home we did it for my uh, husband's birthday a couple months ago. Anyway, I was thinking she could use this to cut the pizza herself. Or she can use it for Play-Doh. <laughs> this next thing is a secret gift for my sister and for Faustina. So if y'all are watching, you can skip forward to this timestamp right here. These were at Earthbound. My sister loves cats and this is just so pretty. So we got her this. I'm not sure what we're going to give it to her for. Maybe her birthday or something. I'm obsessed with pandas and koalas remind me of Faustina so I got us these little matching friendship bracelets or necklaces to wear okay. and again I don't know what I'm gonna give this to her for because a small little thing I might just give it to her for no reason <laughs> it's like not a good enough gift for like her birthday or Christmas or something we went to Lukenbach and my husband really likes all of that music from that so he got a koozie he thought this said Viva Trilinga, but it actually says Viva, Viva Jerry Jeff, so he doesn't really want it, but we'll figure out. <laughs> and then we also got this fridge magnet, which I'm going to go stick in the fridge here. Lukenbach, Texas. I might just keep this sticker and put it on that thing with the other stickers someday. So another thing that we got, we went to this place where they make these bowl holders and like pot holders, and so I got this one with a really cute print on it. Um, I hope that my bowl fits in it because I only have like one bowl right now because we have a tiny house so actually we technically have two bowls but one type of bowl. I think this was like eight dollars and it's really cute and you can like put it in the microwave with it and then you don't burn your hands when you're taking the bowl out. We also got some bean seasoning. It's not in here for some reason but it's like you mix it with beans when you cook them and it, they taste amazing. And then we also got this honey barbecue aioli sauce. Um, it's from this place called Russell and Bob's and it's a sauce, a garnishing sauce, and it's really good. <laughs> and then the last item from Fredericksburg, Faustina actually bought for me for my birthday, which is not even for a couple more months, but I knew I wasn't going to buy it because it was a little out of my price range, and she's like, I can't let you pass this up, so she went and got it for my birthday. We were just walking by it and saw it. I'm so glad that she got it for me. It's a teacup, super pretty, and on the inside it says August, which is this baby boy right here's name, my son. And then it came with a really pretty plate. So, it matches. It's gorgeous. I have to pack this up away somewhere to protect it because I would cry if one of my kids broke it. And somebody, I think it was the baby, the lady that we were buying it from, she said you need, that I need to give it to my son and his wife someday when, when he gets married, if he gets married, on his wedding day. For his wife to use. And I was like, that's a really cute idea. Oh, it's so pretty. It's gonna match Amara's room, but I don't want her to break it, but maybe I could put it up on a shelf really high where she can't reach it and it would look pretty in her room. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm just gonna pack it up and put it somewhere safe. I can use it when they're a little bit older, but I don't want them to break it. So that was everything from the Fredericksburg thing, and I just wanted to throw this in here because it was from, we went to Ennis, Texas for Polka Fest like a couple weeks later and I got some stuff there and I just wanted to show y'all. So this little bunny, crocheted bunny, I got it for Augie and I'll put in a picture of the cat that my, we got for my daughter two years ago from the same lady. She had set up a booth at like a different 
festival that we went to. She's from Houston, but she goes travels around to these different festivals. And I saw her booth, and I recognized her, and Amara actually had her cat with her. And so we went up and showed her, and she gave Amara this little unicorn, which I'll try to add a picture of that as well. And then we bought this for August so that they both have one. I'm obsessed with this lady's crocheting. It's just so adorable and so unique. Actually, it is unique, but it kind of reminds me of like the cuddle and kind animals. I believe that's everything. We did get some more stuff at that festival, which I don't even remember. I know there was this big sign that said, it was like a street sign that said my mom, papa, and that's what Isaiah calls his grandparents. So we got that for them for their Christmas this year. I'm pretty sure they don't watch my videos. <laughs> and then there was something else. I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put it in. But that wasn't even on this trip. I just wanted to show you all because it was cute and kind of the same type of shopping trip thing. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you know when the next video comes out. And I will see you in that next video. Bye! Bye.